Hello everyone, this is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be telling you about a wonderful tool called PictoChart. PictoChart is a very easy intuitive tool to use to create infographics. If you're not familiar with infographics these have been around for a few years and it is a way to graphically create a method of information. It's a way to visually show information to your students it's a way for your students to graphically or visually show information in class, do presentations, and it's very easy to use, very template-based. If you have ever used the tool Canva, C-A-N-V-A, it reminds me a great deal of Canva. Very click, drag, easy to use, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So the first thing we're going to do is sign up. If you haven't signed up, you do have to sign up for this one. You can't use it without that. Um, this is a free and freemium site. You can get a lot of things for free, but if you'd like to go pro, level up, get more for your money, you can do that as well. But we're just going to sign up or I'm going to log in in this situation. And then this is your introduction page. This is what you're going to see when you first get into PictoChart. And there's a lot of really nice things here in PictoChart. If you look up here, sort of to the center or the left of the screen, you're going to have your account and your settings. You also have what they call your alerts or your emails. And when you first sign up, you actually get information that tells you, hey, is this your first time to PictoChart? They have videos, PictoChart 101, how to create your first infographic in 15 minutes, very quickly and easily done. I know not everybody likes to follow step-by-step -step instructions but it's real quick it's real easy it gives you a quick location to go to for information and instructions if you're having any trouble as well as advanced designing tips and more also you've got your saved picture charts templates as well as featured graphics and charts as well now you have a couple of different options Always over here, no matter which type of templates you're looking at you can always create your own from scratch completely blank no color, no nothing, completely from scratch. But a lot of people like to do templates to start out with so that they can play around with this. You can see the long form template. You can do a presentation, poster, or report. Those are the formats that you can choose from. And then from there, you can choose within these different formats. I'm going to choose a presentation format today. And then you can choose any of these free templates. Then they have other ones that are light or pro. And you can go from there for a small fee. But there's plenty to choose from in every single design feature that are absolutely free. Because once you're in these, you can change them all around to pretty much anything you want. So there's lots of things you can do with them. Even though they have information in them, you can do absolutely anything with this. So let's say I wanted to choose... Infograph infographics that absolutely rock. So it's going to load up the style, it's going to initialize the editor, and then let's say I've got a workshop for makerspaces coming up. So I'm going to click to select this block, and the moment I do and I start typing, now from here, just like if you've ever used Canva, you can click, you can drag, you can drop, anything you don't like, you can get rid of. If I don't little like that white line, I can get rid of it. I can move anything around. I can insert anything that I want. I can do settings. I can delete the block. I can clone it. I can move things down. I can move things up. I can add more blocks. This is a block right here where this text is. So if I want to add in another text of block, block of text, I can do that as well. Over here, I can put in more information. I can take this entire picture out. I can add images in. Over here on the left side of the screen, I can add in graphics, shapes, lines, icons, photos, and photo frames. I can upload any images, preferably using ones that we have common license rights to. I can add in images from my computer, things that I have saved. I can change my backgrounds to anything that I wish because right now this is white. If that doesn't isn't something that I like, I can completely change that. Depends on what I'm looking for. I can change my text, my tools. I can do all different types of things. For instance, if this particular font doesn't do a thing for me, I can just go right up here and I can change this. One of the fonts that I'm particularly fond of has a little bit more of a look to it that I prefer is the cabin sketch. I like that one. 
I like it a little bit better on one of the other templates, but that's okay. And, you know, and from here, if I wanted to put another block about information, if I wanted to put in stats, if I wanted to put in another picture of students that I've taken a picture of, of using information or using tools in a makerspace, I could do anything I wanted with this. If I didn't like the tree back there, maybe I wanted to put in a 3D printer or students using Arduinos, I could do whatever I wanted to. If I wanted to put in a picture of my Sphero down here, I could do whatever I like, and then I can keep on using this in whichever way I prefer because this is a template-based tool. They're just giving you the template for you to be able to use any way you wish. And then when you're done, of course, I'm just showing you some examples today. I'm not going to take you step-by-step step through this entire item. I'm just giving you the highlights. You can save. You can preview and you can see what it's like. You can download and you have multiple options for downloading. You can go in PNG or JPEG. You can download piece by piece as blocks. You can do all different types of things. And so you have multiple options. You can also publish and share via multiple sorts of social media, email as a Picto card, as well as Evernote. And you can level up, which means you can pay by pro and you can put this in SlideShare if you so desire. You can use this card by card and you can even put these into presentations. You can put the whole thing into a presentation, PowerPoint, Haiku deck. If you've saved it as a PNG, you can use it in pretty much any type of presentation tool that allows PNG or JPEGs in any way, shape, or form. So that pretty much includes your keynotes, your haiku decks, your prezies, your PowerPoints, anything along those lines. So this is just a quick introduction to PictoChart. Just a quick introduction to a very simple, easy, template-based student, teacher, librarian friendly tool to make infographics, visual presentations, a lot of fun. I like it. I use it. Highly recommend it. Hope you enjoy it as well. Let me know if you have any questions and keep your eye on Tech 15. We've got many more videos coming up in the very near future. Thanks so much. Have a great day.